Welcome back. In the previous section, we had a look at Jest. Starting this video, and for the foreseeable future, we will be learning all about React testing library. In this third section, let's understand a few basic concepts. However, before we proceed, it is very important we first discuss what exactly is it that we want to test. And this is a question that would haunt me when trying to write tests for a React application. Hopefully, I can answer that question in this video and make it a little easier for you to get started. Well then, what to test in a React project? There is no set rule, but here is a set of guidelines for what's worth testing when writing a React component. Start by testing that the component renders. At the very least, a component should render without any error. Second, test that the component correctly renders with props. Given a set of props, does the component render the right HTML? Third, test that the component renders in different states. For example, if you have a nav bar, the login button should render if the user is logged out and not render if the user is logged in. Finally, test that the component correctly reacts to events. This is applicable to components like buttons and form controls which allow user interaction. This list here is a good starting point and there are more advanced scenarios you can pick up when you've mastered these fundamentals. Of course, we will look at a few such scenarios in this series as well. Now that you know what to test, let me also give you a few tips on what not to test. First up, implementation details. And this is based on React testing library's philosophy. The more your tests resemble the way your software is used, the more confidence they can give you. You want tests testing the behavior and not how that behavior is implemented. This also makes refactoring easier. Second, we have third-party code. You should be testing code that you are writing in your project and not the code you are consuming from an external library. For example, if you're using Material UI, you don't have to test the button component or the tabs component from MUI. There is no point in doing that as MUI is already well tested. Instead, test the component that consumes the MUI components. Finally, you don't have to test code that is not important from a user's point of view. For example, if you've written a utility function that displays date in a user-friendly format, you don't have to test if that function was called by the component. Instead, you can directly test if the date was rendered in the expected format. If all of this is a little difficult to understand right now, please don't worry. Once we are done with the series, you will understand what we are referring to in this video. So, to summarize what to test, ensure the component renders, ensure it renders with props, ensure it renders in different states, and ensure it handles events as expected. Don't worry about testing the implementation details, external libraries, or code that is not important from a user's point of view. Alright, with this in mind, let's proceed to the next video.